Hey guys, I want to give you a quick preview of what's coming up pretty soon, and that is your own squeeze page, customizable squeeze page for the view layout. Now, this is a great way to collect an email address and to give your customers some value, giving them free music, a free uh, an ebook, or anything you can think of. You can offer your your customers. And everything's customizable. The the header, the, the you know the uh, email header text, uh, the text in here, and also the text um, inside of the button. Also, you'll be able to change. Uh, if you don't want to use a video, you can actually use an image instead. Let me take you inside the admin panel to show you what it looks like. Okay, so when you're in here, you would go to the view tab and then click on squeeze page now keep in mind as of right now uh, well the moment that you know we uploaded this video uh, this is not active yet it'll be active uh, I believe it'll be active on Thursday the February 12th that's when it'll be active <clears throat> first and foremost you have the ability to turn it off completely so it's not something that comes up automatically. If you're not a fan of the squeeze page, you can actually kill it uh, altogether. If you do have it enabled, then you have the choice of setting the duration time, which uh, you'll have to play around and see how well this converts. Uh, you know, for some people, they say having it pop up right away is a thing to do. Uh, other people say that having it pop up 30 seconds after the page loads is what uh, is what you need to do. Um, I don't know. I've heard both ways. My my suggestion is that you add in the uh, Google Analytics code into your view layout and and watch out for your bounce rate. If you're starting to get a high bounce rate, then you probably want to switch your uh, duration longer to say 20 seconds, 10, or I don't know, even even 30. 60 seconds is basically for you know for people that are actually on your website, and you find that a lot of people are staying on your website for a long time, then you probably want to choose 60 seconds. But I don't know if you're going to choose something that is going to be delayed. I would say a sweet spot is either uh, 20 or uh, 30 seconds would be a sweet spot. <clears throat> uh, but I think most people are going to use the, the five second. The five second is kind of right after the page loads, the squeeze page pops up and, um, you know, you get to see it right away. Anyway, you'll have to, you'll have to decide how many seconds after the page loads, um, whatever suits your needs on this one. On here, uh, you can choose between using a YouTube video and, or an image. If you decide to choose an image, You'll be uh, you can choose your file here and upload your your image just fine. I, I definitely recommend maybe using a YouTube video since YouTube uh, video is more engaging. Uh, pre pretty self-explanatory stuff here. Uh, Pop-up header text. You got your email header text. Regular uh, email. Regular text. Uh, email button text. The part that we need to finish up is the section where you upload a zip file or add in a link where your media is at. So for example, if you're giving away uh, free music or uh, an ebook of some sort, then you'll have to zip it up and upload it here. Or if you have it hosted somewhere else, you can just add in your link for the user to download the, the product after they enter in their email address. That's the part that, we're, uh, that we need to do yet, but we'll have it done in about 24 hours. And it's all right here, basically your, your title, your email header, your email body text, um, and then your this can be modified. This can't be modified. Your inbox will not be spammed. Um, this is kind of gives the user confidence that their inbox indeed will not be spammed, and I highly recommend that you don't spam them. But you know this is a great tool to definitely grab email addresses and also giving people value for signing up. So uh, you can close it out here. Let me show you what it looks like on real time. Uh, it's set to do five seconds after the page loads 100%. So I'm going to refresh this. And after five seconds, it should pop up. There it is. So also, it actually 
<clears throat> if a user tries to scroll, it will always remain center until they close it out. Also, <clears throat> it looks great on a mobile device. Uh, it looks just fine. Um, it's there and right in front of them. They can close it out if they want to. So this is um, this squeeze page is both desktop and mobile ready, and it's it's completely responsive. So you're covered on that end as well. So this is just kind of a, a sneak peek at the squeeze page. It is not done yet. Uh, we will make an uh, announcement on our, um, anytime we have something done, you wanna check our updates page and it will actually say here, it'll say, hey, uh, we've updated. The squeeze page is now available. So you wanna check this out here. But uh, we're pretty excited. People have been asking for this and we think it's an important marketing tool to have for uh, for yourself. All right, guys. Well, we're going to be launching this soon, so get ready and uh, enjoy.